Hey folks, Green Stuff Gaff here. This week we've got the next um, set of magazines from Hatchet Parkworks for the Warhammer 40,000 Imperium magazine. Now for those who haven't seen the previous videos, Hatchet Parkworks specialise in doing monthly magazines for uh, X value that you um, generally get bits and pieces of model kits. They did Conquest magazine which was um, Death Guard versus Primera Space Marines that did very well and was a very cheap way of buying Space Marine models. This time we've got Space Marines and Necrons so we're gonna open up, they send you a month's worth of um, magazines at once so we're gonna open them up and have a look to see what we've got this time. We've got some uh, Assault Intercessors and a pot of McCrag Blue, which we have plenty of already, but let's have a look. Obviously I'm not going to go through the entire magazine because no one really cares. Um, McCrag Blue, three bases. Let's look at the models first. I haven't actually got the um, starter set these guys first came in, so it's in, this is my first time seeing them. I'm surprised they've got all of the um, Ultramarine symbols embossed, the assault symbols. So I think we're going to have to file all of that back. That's a terrible shame, but got to push the poster boys. Yeah, all right. Oh, wow. I quite like these. I had a flick through last month's magazines. It gives you like random name generators and um, like little uh, details you can put on each squad. Almost like a generator. So that's quite cool. I quite like that. Blood Angels. Nothing interesting. How to assemble your dudes. I probably will do those on camera so that I can show you how I file back all of the bits and pieces. Little scenarios at the back to teach you the rules. Yeah, that's not bad. Issue four, this looks, this is uh, another good value issue. Because Because, as it says here, £8.99, that's a box of Scorpeth Destroyers, which generally quite a lot more than Game Workshop. So, some Lead Belcher, which is a lovely paint. I love this. I tend to add a touch of black to it to darken it down, but... Again, starter set, sprue. So you've got your, th your three Scorpeth Destroyers, and you've got... A Canatip plasma site. Loads of little bits. Real nice. Okay. Oh, God, just again, all fluff. Let's have a quick look at what they are. Hmm. Quite cool. I presume they're like 
destroyers and just hate everyone. More space marine stuff. How to build them. That's a lot. Paint them, paint throughs. Yeah, nothing interesting. Another play map. These are quite cool. That's nifty. So, Imperium 5. This is a, as far as I'm aware, a unique Primaris captain you can't get anywhere else. Thankfully, no chapter details on his pads. Although, foot on rock. That's what he looks like, assembled. I personally will, I think I'm going to turn the head to face the other way, because I know he's supposed to be, there's probably a Necron that he lines up to, but I think he'd look much better at facing the other way. Okay. Not sure on that sword either. Just again, more fluff, more fluff. How to clean mold lines. Surprised it's taken this long to tell us, but. Of course, the problem is because we get paints, a paint every other month by the looks of it. That's all you can paint with the paint from the magazine. Paint in blue with some silver bits. Well, I'm surprised they didn't put the gold on because you yeah, got a gold, a brass, one of the previous issues. I don't know why this has come set, but never on stuff. And by the looks of it, the final issue, issue six, is actually another worthwhile one. So we've got some Abaddon Black, always useful. Three Primaris Aggressors. We've got the Flamestorm Gauntlets. Just Flamestorm Gauntlets. But I'm sure these bits are the same as the multi-part kit, so theoretically you could just bit, use a bit site to get the other options they come with. Let's have a look. And again, I don't know what the retail on a box of addresses are, but I'm sure it's more than £8.99. Yeah. Bolt Storm Gauntlets. They don't give us the Bolt Storm, do they? Flamers. No, just Flamers on there. No bolts are on base. Have to build Chunky Boys. Again, scenarios using new, the new units, explaining how turns work and things. So. Nice. So all in all, not a bad haul. Is obviously we'll be painting these up as bright as um, brazen claws. So this month we've got three marines. I don't know how many come in a squad for those boys. Three aggressors and a captain, and some miscellaneous paints. But yeah, all in all, I'm looking forward to these guys. 
So I'll be doing these ones just to show how I um, take all the details off. But I think I assemble the aggressors off camera because no one cares. Maybe do one for the captain with a slight conversion, but I'm not sure on him yet. Oh, all in all, thanks for watching and have fun.